Can you check for weight relief with a powerful flashlight? Let's find out. In a previous episode, I talked about how I wish I could get an x-ray. That way, I could check the weight relief of every guitar I review. Chainbird. But then, Double Double D here left me a comment and asked, wouldn't it be possible to use an ultra-powerful flashlight to shine it into the back of the guitar and see some sort of reflection of light in order to tell if a guitar had weight relief? This could either be the dumbest idea ever, or it might be plausible. I didn't have a super powerful flashlight, so what I did is I grabbed my iPhone, and I grabbed one of those glary ukuleles. I took it to a dark room, and I tried shining the flashlight on my phone through the back of the instrument to see if it would indeed go through. And as you can see here, it did. So that made me think, all right, I owe it to the world to at least try this. So I went to Amazon, I looked up ridiculously powerful flashlights. I never knew there were $350 all the way up to like $2,000 flashlights before now. I eventually decided to go with the Imolent DX80 flashlight. It was expensive. It was $380, but it's all in the name of guitar science. This is a 32,000 lumens flashlight. Now, let's put that into perspective here. You will typically find a 1 to 25 lumen flashlight on a typical keychain one. It's not super powerful, it's just good enough to look in your purse. 25 to 100 lumens, that's like your standard flashlight that you use around the house. 100 to 1000 lumens, those are like the super high quality ones that you might get as a luxury item for your house, maybe for camping. Some people will also use these as tactical defense weapons to blind attackers. And then the next category is 1000 plus. This is what emergency responders use, such as like an EMS rescue team. So it's safe to say this thing is just ridiculously powerful. It's designed for cave exploration, both above and underwater. Due to the way that this flashlight is manufactured, there's little gaps that bleed some of the light, and I thought it would be best to get rid of that in order to really see if any light can shine through the instrument. In order to do that, I simply just took some construction paper and taped it around it so we would get less bleeding of light. Next, I took the glary ukulele that I did my flashlight test with and recreated it just to see how powerful this thing is. I mean, remember, you could hardly see that flashlight running through this. But here you can see the tests through all the different lumens. It really just lights that thing up. I'm really hopeful at this point that we might have something. So now the moment that you've been waiting for. Can we use this super powerful flashlight to check for weight relief? I decided to use my Les Paul Goddess. I know this instrument is chambered because you can see it inside the control cavity. So let's go ahead and run the tests through all the different cycles of this flashlight. 120 lumens. Nothing. 500 lumens. Nothing. 1500 lumens. Nothing. 5000 lumens. Nothing. 13,000. Nothing. <laughs> oh, it's our last chance here. The ultra-powerful 32,000 lumen test. Nothing. Nope, you cannot use a flashlight to check for weight relief in an instrument. So why didn't this test work? Well, essentially, if you get all sciency, it comes down to the wavelength of the visible light. If you take a look at this diagram here, you can see all the visible light and where it falls in relation to the other things. The guitar is still able to absorb all of the light. 
Whereas if you take it to an x-ray, the wavelength is so much tinier that it allows it to pass through, which then through other processes, you can create a visible image. But hey, while I have this powerful flashlight, can we at least get it through a semi-hollow constructed guitar? What about an acoustic? How thin does the wood have to be in order for it to pass through? The semi-hollow to torture was the Gibson Kalamazoo. I repeated my test once again, cycling through all six power levels of this flashlight. And unfortunately, I could not even get it to shine through the back of this semi-hollow. I even did this test with my Taylor 210E, and the exact same thing happened here. I could not get that light to shine through, the wood was just absorbing it. So, unfortunately, we did not discover a new way to visualize weight relief in completed guitars. But, if nothing else, I thought I should post this video so nobody else spends a bunch of money trying to test this out for themselves. However, if you do want to do your own tests, be very careful because this flashlight gets hot. You can see here I actually kind of burnt my ukulele and I'm glad I did that test run on that and not burning the multi-thousand dollar Gibsons. If there's another crazy idea you'd like me to try or another myth to bust, feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next episode. Take care.